Welcome to another segment of Texans for Texas. With your host, Dale Webb. Then Michael Beard. Bringing you the local news and opinions of the day. Good afternoon, everybody. How y'all doing? This is another edition of Texans for Texas here. I'm Michael Bearden. I'm Dale Webb. We are out here in New Caney, Texas, and uh, we have a big major announcement to make to uh, our Texans for Texas group. Uh, we are going to create a political action committee. Because to be quite honest with you, I'm kind of fed up with what's going on. Here recently in Cleveland, Michael, I don't know if you heard this, I'm pretty sure you have. We had an illegal alien out at, in the Trails in subdivision that's in Cleveland, Texas on 105, literally go next door and murder an entire family who was also illegal. Yeah, that, I've heard about this. This is crazy. And now, have you heard anything about, you know, like Biden, oh, well, we got a Ben AR-15? Yes. But the thing is that they were looking for that one specific race to put that puzzle together. It's it, it's just incredible. I mean, man, people, this this stuff is 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 happening every day. I mean, for one, it's an illegal alien. He shouldn't have been here to begin with. To begin with, he had already been deported three or four times. Made his way back to the U.S. and we let him in again. Like idiot. Living in a house, how did he get a house if he's an illegal alien? You know, he's living in a house in Trails End subdivision off of 105 in Cleveland. He manages to get his hands on on a, what was it, an AR? AR, plat AR style pl platform, yes. Yes, and then an AR style rifle and murders the people next door. Who were also illegals, living in a house in Trails End subdivision in Cleveland, Texas. Now, now it, it makes no sense. Here's an illegal, got his hands on a gun, kills the family next door, and our government officials are screaming, we need to get rid of the guns. The gun was the problem. No, no, the gun was not the problem. It was the idiot with the gun. Yeah. This guy was illegal. How in the hell did he get his hands on a gun? Probably stole it. But that's that's my point. I mean, that's why our group, you know, we've been talking about it a while. We're talking to several people. We're talking to uh, Mr. Scott Copeland and Mr. David uh, Pipkin. Uh, they're the chairman and the vice chairman of the Constitutional Constitution Party of Texas. And uh, we're going to, our group is going to form a pact which is a political action committee, and uh, it's a community action committee, so so that, that's that's a good place to start. We're going to bring them on board as board members to kind of help us organize this and, and, and keep it up and running and, and get it going, but we're going to need y'all support. I mean, this is this has got to stop, you know. I, I want to start doing these rallies, and I want to call them no more rallies. I want to, I, I, no more this big government intrusion. Yeah. No more of just leaving our borders wide open. Mm -hmm. No more not protecting our U.S. vets. No more not protecting our children. No more. Yeah. You know, no more trying to, 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 to get rid of the Constitution. No more trying to get rid of the Bible. I mean, this has gone, this has gone on long enough. Now I'm, sit, yeah, now I'm sitting there watching the news. They have... Well, I don't even know how to describe this guy in the Navy. Oh, he's, yeah. he's a drag queen. I don't know if that's the right term for it. Trans, he's non-binary, whatever. He's in the Navy, and he's putting on shows while he's in the Navy for the Navy crew. Wow. You know, he's on a ship doing his drag show for his buddies in the Navy. This is our, this is our military. It's time we start standing up and getting the BS... Completely out of our country, you know. This guy, you know, you, what the hell is he gonna do? Th throw his lipstick at the enemy? 
probably. <laughs> I mean, I don't, well, you know, what, what the hell is he going to do? You know, these are the people that are supposed to be protecting us and our children. And, and there is nothing they're doing for the American people at all. No, they're not. Nothing whatsoever. The only people that they're helping is China, Ukraine, Russia, anybody that hates, hates us and wants to know. Well, the easiest term is anybody. They're helping anybody that's not American citizen. Exactly. In other words, in other words, our country, America, is no longer for Americans. Exactly. Plain and simple. And it's got to change. It's got to stop. And the way it stops is people getting off their couch and actually going to a rally, showing up and supporting the group and what we're trying to do. We've got to get we we've got to get things straight back in Texas before we can get the country straight. Yeah. You know. We you know, change starts at home. I mean, there's like this guy now, what's his name? Colin Allred. He's a Democrat. He's running against Senator he, He's going up against Cruz. You know, and so far, it's Cruz and him are the only two that are are, 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 gonna, are running in this race. We need a third candidate in this thing. We need to make sure this Colin Aldred doesn't make it. Yeah. Doesn't, does not win. Yeah. He believes that the... the, the the, that January 6th was a, was an insurrection. He wants your guns. You know, he wants he wants Texas to be California. He's a Beto O'Rourke on steroids, in other words. Big time, big time. So we got to put a stop to this guy. And the only way to do it is we need your support. We need you involved in what we're trying to do. You know, uh, and, and that's why we want to start these rallies. And, and I'm, I'm shooting for, for the 21st of this month to try to have a rally. Yeah. And I'd like to have it in Cleveland. Since this crap went down with this guy, yeah, you know, the police department on a, on, on on the same same guy, the police department was out there searching for this guy. They didn't even have the manpower to search him. Now this happened in Cleveland, all right. Trails in in Cleveland on one hundred and five. He left there and went to Cut and Shoot, which is probably fifteen twenty miles down the road. Yeah, it's scary. And it, it took him that long to find him. And then again, it wasn't the police who found him. Somebody turned him in to get the $80,000 reward. Mm. The police said on the news last night they did not have the manpower to find this guy. What, what, what kind of statement is that? We don't have enough police officers to protect us. Exactly. But we're bringing more and more illegal aliens across the border. We're not, we're not holding them. We're... we're Put them out in the public, out in our cities, in, in our towns, in our communities. Putting them right next door. We have a location. We're in New Caney. We have a location that's probably seven miles down the road from my house. And that place is called Plum Grove. And if you're you're familiar with the, 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 the New Caney, Porters, Lindora, Cleveland area, you've heard of Plum Grove. Yeah. You can go and buy as much land as you want from this company. You don't need an ID. Nope. You don't need a social security number. Don't need no credit score. No credit score. You need nothing. No way of proving who you are, where you came from, what your job is, if you have a job. All you need is $500 cash, and they give you land. Now, an American citizen tries to go out and buy land. You, you've got to have this 10000 credit score. You, you've, you've, you know, you, it's, it's insane. It's insane. And they only deal with people with no ID, no social security number, nothing. Mm -hmm. That tells you who's living in that subdivision. Yep. And that's in our backyard. But yet the county commissioner here in Montgomery County doesn't seem to be bothered with that no. at all. No. The county judges doesn't seem to be bothered with we're selling land to people we have no idea who they are. Yeah. They have no problem with any of it. Yeah. This is why we need this this political action committee. We, we've got to have it. Yes. You know, we have got to make changes in Texas. Because there's too many people on Facebook. And I put a post out today on Facebook, by the way. And, and I was calling out some people. For two years or more, all I've heard on Facebook is, we need to do more. Somebody needs to do this. 
Somebody needs to do that. We need to protect our kids. We need to protect our community. Somebody needs it. Somebody, somebody, somebody. BS. You need to get off your couch, get away from that damn computer, and get to a rally. Make a statement. Start a podcast. Really? Anything. Do something. Mm -hmm. Don't sit on your hands in your house eating Cheetos, watching no, porn, God. doing nothing. Everybody talks about doing something, but they never do, and that oh. bugs the hell out of me. It bugs me too, because I mean, you got these people saber rattling. Oh, we got to start something. We got to do something. Okay, do it. <coughs> oh no, I can't do that. I can't do that. My neighbor might uh, across the street might get get offended. Tough. Yeah, it's it's Tough. it's insane. The the train of thought people have blows my mind. You know, we need we need elected officials in Texas to defend the Constitution. We need elected officials in Texas to support the Holy Bible. Mm -hmm. And and there's very few doing it. A lot of them say they do it. Oh yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm 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 a Second Amendment guy. You know, no, they're not. No, they're not. They tell you that, and then they do absolutely nothing. Nothing to defend it. And that's the problem we have in Texas. We have sat back and let California, New York, Vermont, all these northern states send their Democrats down here to live for a year or so to be able to get on the ballot and turn Texas Democrat. Yeah. It's exactly what it is. We're, we're a purple state right now. It's insane. So, remember the Ted Cruz versus Beto? He, Beto almost won. He almost won. Yeah, and people don't understand that. You know, oh, Texas will never go go Democrat. It damn near did. It, yeah, it, it near did all right. And I bet back in the 90s, whenever Texas was Democrat, I bet Democrats said, oh, well, I, it'll never turn red. Well, I want, you, I want you to think about something. Think about the insanity of our U.S. government, this, this current administration that we have going on right now. He has decided he's going to send 1,500 troops to the border. Okay. Finally, a step. Yeah. But then when he tells you what they're there for, your blood's gonna pisses blow. you off. Pisses yeah. me off. Mm -hmm. He's not sending them down there to support our border patrol agents. He's not sending them down there to to guard our border to keep illegals out and the cartels out and the drugs out. No, he's not sending them there for that. He's sending fifteen hundred troops to help the illegal aliens with their daily activities. They need help being fed. They need help with their laundry. They need help taking care of their kids. We're sending our troops, our American troops, the people who are supposed to defend us, we're sending them to the border to be maids to illegal aliens. That, it's insane. That is BS. We have veterans here who need our help. What's the government doing? Nothing. Nothing. They're not going to do nothing. And that's the whole point. You know, it makes it makes no sense to me. You know, it, it, you know the American people. You know, they're willing to give up so easily. Mm. I mean, they they just they just give up. They just turn tail. You know, well, well, if he wins this one, we'll get him in the next one. This is the last election, folks. I got yes. news for you. This is it. This is the last election. Yes. Because every other election after this one isn't going to matter. Yes. You're not going to matter. Your vote is definitely not going to matter. No, it's not. And uh, from what I heard is that Biden <coughs> and Trump do not want to debate. So what's that telling you right there? And Trump is a dang good debater. Well, it, 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 here's the problem. You know, I, I, I like Trump's politics. I like, I, I like what he does for American. I like his policies. You know, I just don't like... The BS you got to put up with other, other than that. Oh, you mean like Russia, 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 Ukraine, Ukraine? Yeah. Ukraine. If he would sit and focus on strictly.
policies the country. Yeah. And stop doing the one upsman thing. He would be amazing. Yeah. We would be energy independent again. We would have our freedom still. But but he can't. He he gets sidetracked. And which I'm you know, that's that's neither here or there. But we don't need that. We need policies. We need American policies, American citizen policies. And we're not getting it from this administration at all. No, we're not. They're they're fighting tooth and nail to ruin this country and to ruin the American people. And we're letting it happen. The American people are so willing to just give up. And I can't believe that. Yeah, our forefathers, our ancestors, if this stuff was going on back then, oh, they're kill. Oh, oh. I don't even want to talk about it because I might get our channel de de deleted. It, it, it is insane. It is insane. You know, I have people message me all the time going, how in the world can we stop this insanity? How, how can we stop? It's, it's easy. We vote in, we elect, we find candidates who believe in the Constitution, who believe in America, who believe in the Bible, who believe in the American citizens. That's who you put in office. Exactly. You know, stop doing this. Well, I'm voting for this guy just because the other guy is Trump or the other guy is Ted Cruz or Dan, I'm going to vote for the other guy, you know, instead of Dan Crenshaw just because I... I personally don't like it. Stop playing the the the, the party game. That's yes. what they want you doing. They want you playing a uh, Democrat or Republican. They don't want you even thinking somebody outside of those two parties. Parties. Period. They don't want you thinking about it. That's where the American people need to stand up and say, "I don't care what you want. This is what we want." They're supposed to work for us. Exactly. The problem is they don't. No. They don't care about us at all, period. That's why I want to start this 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 PAC, this yes. political action committee. Yeah. You know, because change has to be done. You know, it it, it, it it it's been due a long time. And we've been sitting back watching this gender woke BS that they keep shoving down our throats. I do not buy it. I don't. How in the world can you tell me a six-year-old kid can des can decide if they're male or female and can decide on changing body parts, having stuff cut off or added at six years old, but you're not going to let this kid decide its own bedtime? Uh, you can't. It's yeah. insane. A six-year-old kid is still trying to figure himself out, you know? I mean... It is a mental illness i mean a six-year-old kid does not have that kind of mental capacity your brain does not fully become mentally capable until you're in your 20s so we're going to sit here and let a six-year-old decide what he wants to be no my, my i was raised to be seen not heard well if you read the bible there's two genders exactly two Male, genders female for hundreds of years, archaeologists are finding skeletal remains, and they're always male or female. They have yet to find one non-binary human. Yeah. None. They, they have yet to find one. Yeah. You can put 100 men and women on an island and come back in 100 years... You'll have a thriving community. You put 100 men and 100 trans women who used to be men on an island and come back in 100 years, you're going to find nothing but skeletons. Exactly, because they don't have the biological, they don't have the way of making another population, another kid. They can't reproduce. Exactly. That's what I'm going to say. Sorry. <laughs> that, that's, that's a good word. Reproduce. Yeah. And... The sad thing is, is the American people are letting this happen. Yeah. And I have said this a hundred times. Change. I've said this a hundred times. I don't play the party game. I don't play Democrat, Republican. I don't play any of that. If you have a Democrat candidate that is running for office and he fights for your Second Amendment rights, 
He fights for protecting children. The Bible. He fights for protecting the Constitution, your rights, your freedoms, protecting our borders. And you have a Republican that's wishy washy. I'm going to vote the Democrat. Exactly. Stop voting party. Vote policy. As I've always said, if you have a D near your name or an R, find out who these people are. Don't just say, well, he's a Democrat. I'm going to go automatically vote for Democrat or I'm going to automatically vote for Republican. Don't do that. That's what gets us in trouble. Vote for policy over party. It's, it, it's insane, though. People, people don't look at it that way. It's, we can't let this guy win. We can't let this guy win. Yeah. Listen to his policies. You know, because the way I see it, there was a great Democrat who was president, and his name was John F. Kennedy. <laughs> and he was a Democrat. Yeah. He was one of the last, I think one of the last. Everybody first- liked him. Both parties. Mm-hmm. I think he was what, like one of the last good Democrats we've ever had? I, I believe so, the last yeah, good one. one of the greatest ones, you know. But today, because of that whole Southern strategy, they're probably going to think that he's a Republican now. Well, you got John F. Kennedy's uh, brother's son, Robert Kennedy Jr., running for president. And the man has some kind of vocal issues to where his vo- voice quivers when he talks. They're already attacking him, and he's a Democrat. Yeah. Because he he says all this BS going on, that's exactly what it is, BS. They don't like him. I want to hear more from him. Yeah, I, I would like to. I want to hear more from him. I want to hear what he has to offer the American people in this country. Yeah. Because these- we've seen what the Biden administration oh, has to offer for this country. We've seen and we know from experience what this new Democrat woke agenda has in store for the American people. And it's horrible. Yes. We know what the Republicans have in store for us, which is little or nothing. Yes. And it's 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 a shame. We have nobody fighting for us anymore. Period. Yeah. All these kids, you know, they want equality. Well, let everybody have their chance behind that microphone. Give them equal chance. No, nobody's going to do that, though. No, well, of course no, no, not. Nobody's going to do it's that. It's either D or R. That, that's it. That's it. And we need a community a group that will actually stand up and fight for the small guys. Now, when I say pol- political action committee, here's what I think when that comes up. PAC. I think like the uh, CPAC or GPAC okay. where you vote general policies, and then you are you vote for a candidate. I don't think a PAC should be that entirely. I think a PAC should be willing to support its community. Because who is the PAC getting supported by? The community. Exactly. If you have a member in your PAC whose business is failing because of this government overreach, taxation, BS, your members are to be willing to get up and help that guy save our lady, save their business. That's the way it should be. Yes, we need to go because back. it's the politics that is ruining him. Yes, because or we, her. Yes, because we have to help each other. The government's not going to help us. The government could care less about the American citizen. We need to start helping each other the way that it was supposed to be built on. The government is not supposed to be this dang big. Right. Well, we're going to take a short little pause and get a commercial break in here. Y'all stay tuned, and we'll be right back. Larry Baggett for President, Support Campaign Fund, an independent American Constitution patriot, 
As a former Democrat Party member and political candidate, Larry Baggett knows firsthand what the far-left agenda has in store for American citizens. As a citizen and patriot of America, Larry Baggett knows the two current political parties no longer connect or speak for the American people. Larry Baggett is an American independent. Constitution Party supporter, Navy veteran, former law enforcement officer, Constitution-loving, American patriot, freedom-fighting American independent Constitution support candidate, Larry Baggett for President 2024 A Voice for Freedom, small business support, more citizen support, less government, secure public schools, protect our religion, energy independence, protecting social security and disability benefits, more state independence, autonomy, freedom from government overreach, parental control over our children, restore citizen control over our government offices, restore election integrity, restore an election day, no more election weeks or months, keep seniors in their homes no more property tax, Larry Baggett for President 2024 A Voice for Freedom. All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, you know, they're asking, how, you know, how can we stop the insanity? Simple. Stand up. That's the first step to stopping all the insane mental illness crap going on in this country and in our state. Stand up. Take the first step. Join a group. Help. If you've got five dollars, donate it. Exactly. Donate it. That five dollars will save somebody's business. Could help change a policy. Could put the right candidate in office. You got to look beyond, well, it's only five dollars. Five dollars makes a difference. You know, and, and that's what we're going to have to start doing. We're going to have to start looking at these candidates and looking at them carefully. Figure out where they're getting their funding from. George Soros is notorious for putting these DAs in office because he wants the chaos. He wants the U.S. gone. Yeah. You know, there's other countries that want the same thing. Need to figure out who is supporting these people. The old term, follow the money still applies it does you see what i'm saying it's it's insane you know we're allowing one percent of this country's people to control the other 99 percent exactly insanity you know i remember i remember back in the 70s and 80s when, when, when men and women were gay, they fought for their rights. They didn't go out and burn cities down. No. They made changes within the law. They picked candidates who helped them. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't try to ruin our military. They didn't try to indoctrinate our kids. They, they, didn't, they didn't attack our schools. They didn't murder our children. None of this. They fought legally. And they made a stand. And it worked. Yeah, they right. were accepted. Now, now it's either accept me or I will kill you is basically what they're saying. Exactly. You... I will ruin you. Yeah, I mean, I was, have you seen on the Twitter some of the videos that's been posted? These are all domestic terrorism that could go against these people. I mean, Well, it can't be domestic terrorism because they're the woke oh, party. Yes. That's true. Yeah, they're they're in the woke party, man. There there is no domestic terrorism when you're in the woke party. Yeah, I mean, that's terrorist. The only way you can be a terrorist or, or or an extreme group is you have to be right wing. You you have to be for America. Yeah, believe in the Constitution, believe in the Bible, any of those three things, you are scum, basically. Bad news. Yeah. And it's it's a it's a crying shame because we're letting this happen. We're not doing anything, mm -hmm. you know. Why is Texas allowing open borders? We have a governor who signed an emergency declaration. Yeah, signed, and he has not used one thing on it. He did it as a photo op. 
people. Yep. These are the kind of politicians we need out. He's more than happy to get on there and tell you what he's going to do. I'm going to do this. But he has yet to do it. I have a problem with that. Yeah. I have a serious problem with that. As American citizens, we have the right to defend our borders. We have the right to defend our homes. We have the right to defend our children. Where do we get those rights? The Constitution. Exactly, in God. Good man, yeah. Good man upstairs. Mm -hmm. You know, it's insane the way people look at politics. Oh, well, I don't want my neighbor mad at me. This is insane. You know, it, it makes no sense to me. You know, we're allowing every single bit of this to happen. It's because people like you and me, just average people, refuse to stand up and be noticed. I don't want to be noticed. I don't want this coming back on me. I don't want this coming back on my kid. We have to start somewhere. And somewhere is here. Putting this pack together. Getting it in order. Making it active. Active. Active means not just sitting on Facebook, typing out a few little things here and there. That's getting out. Meeting people. Telling them what you see. Showing them the evidence of what's really going on. That's how you get people involved yep you know that it, it, it blows my mind that nobody's willing to do that nope. nobody at all and it's it, it's heartbreaking you know think about it everything that's happened in the past three or four years to these children in school these kids in school these mass shooting in schools we haven't changed the schools at all. No, we haven't. None. No. None. None of the schools have changed. Where's the taller fences? Where's the security guards patrolling the area, the perimeter of the school? Where's the new alarms? Where's the new new video cameras? We, where, where, where's any of that? It's nowhere. Nope. They don't care. They don't. They do not care. Why is there more school security? You know why? Because the American people, the Texas people, will not stand up and do anything. They will not fight for any of this change. No, they won't. At all. Nope. It is horrible. You know? Yeah. That's why the Texan, Texans for Texas is going to start this pack. We're going to start this pack. And it's going to be called the Texans Constitutional, the Texans Constitutional Community. Yep. PAC. PAC. That's exactly what we're going to call it. The TCC PAC. Yep. So I'm, I'm personally fed up with it. You know? And if I have members in my group that don't like my point of view, send me a message. Tell me why you don't like it. I'm curious. I like to know. Yeah. You know, the insanity's got to stop somewhere. And I say it needs to stop here and now. Exactly. You know, we've got to do something. Because it's almost too late. We're losing our country. And to be honest with you, in some ways, I think our country is gone forever. Yeah. There is, do you realize there is nothing, nothing you own or nothing you buy Nothing you eat that doesn't have tax on it. No. We are taxed on every single thing. Buy clothes, taxed. Buy food, taxed. Buy gas, taxed. Buy house, taxed. Buy land, taxed. Die, taxed. Die, taxed. It's, it's incredible. Get an inheritance, inheritance Tax. taxed. the lotto, taxed. Think about it. It's got to change. And we're allowing every bit of it. Mm. These idiots in office, in national office, in a state office, 
literally tell you they cannot figure out how to get the homeless off the streets. But they can get you to pay more taxes and they can change the climate of the world. You can't change that. With more money, we can change climate. Well, with more money, couldn't we get the people off the streets? No. No. They no. don't want to do that. It's not about that. It's not about taking care of people. It's money in their pocket. And their agenda. There you have it. Their agenda, because, I mean, we've got plenty of places that are shut down that we could really remedy, rebuild for homeless shelters, homeless centers. But do we do it? No. We, we have huge, huge buildings all over this country that have been vacant for years and years and years. And it's owned by the U.S. government. That's owned by the government. Mm -hmm. The government will not convert those places into living facilities for these people. Why? Because that would be helping the people. Yeah. They won't do that. And they need the that for government owns so much vacant doing nothing land and they need it for the next will they round. build a community for the homeless people homeless veterans no nope. no but i tell you what if somebody brought up an idea hey let's take some of these abandoned buildings and put the uh, illegals in there give them free housing they would be all over it in exactly. a heartbeat and it's it's insane. It needs to stop. Yeah, it does. Well, folks, this is a short podcast. I just wanted to vent a little bit because I'm upset with the way this is going. And all I see is people talk about what somebody else should be doing. You know, my mom and dad used to tell me a long time ago before they passed, you know, it was, it's a little, little rhyme. I don't know. I had a little statement they used to make when they were younger. They used to wish somebody would make a change on something they didn't like until they realized they were somebody. Yep. So I'm asking you, the American people, Texas citizens, are you somebody? Are you anybody? Or are you just one of those non-existent citizens that sits on the sidelines and is watching the chaos and doing nothing about it? I'm tired of watching. Yes. I'm tired of seeing where this is going. Because it's not where it's going, it's not good. We need to make a change, and it needs to start now. Mm -hmm. So like I said, this is a short podcast, and we'll be getting back out there again here shortly and doing some more. But pay attention, folks. It's got to start somewhere. And I say it starts now. Let's yep. put this rally together. Let's put this rally together. If we can raise about $2,000 and put this rally together, and we can get Three to five hundred people show up and talk to them in person and listen to them, mm -hmm. get them to listen to us. We can make a difference in this state and in the in this country. We have to do it. We have to do it soon or our country's gone. Yep. So think about it. Don't be woke. Don't be awake. You need to be eyes open, mm -hmm. ears open. Yep. That's what you need to be. Yep. Well, I'm Dale Webb. And I'm Michael Bearden. We're out of here. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll get back to y'all soon. God bless.